Hello there! Uh, this is Gasper bringing you a, a replay cast of a Tier 8 Southeast Asia Battle Cup. Um, so here we have the Radiant Team Skate Masters. I watched one of their earlier games in this Battle Cup, um, which they, they did really well. They, they managed to uh, see out about 25 minutes stomp, uh, they, and they played really well. And this is the final game. Uh, against second mystery second hand god i believe is their name um and the skate masters they they played really well they uh they drafted strong lanes roamed well and got into a five man and and pushed really hard and took took the high ground and uh took a a fairly Standard win, I'd say. Uh, so, first two bans coming out from each team. We have Cottle coming out. Cottle is an interesting ban. I haven't seen many people ban it, but uh, he's got really good D push, and uh, if he gets Ags quickly, he's got great vision control with a gem. That's also the ability to heal all his team with uh, with his Illuminate, as well as uh, help people out with slip pushing by recalling them back into fights. Train. Pretty pretty standard ban, arguably one of the most OP heroes at the moment with his uh, roaming capabilities as well as his ability to place wards unseen and, and his uh, his constant fighting ability he also has incredible base damage and uh, a strong root on level 1. Bristleback. Bristleback's, a, uh, Bristleback's an interesting hero at the moment because he... Uh, he he was completely untouched until recently, but he's he's got a lot of love recently. Really hard to deal if you don't build silver edges. So, and the final ban is Nyx. Nyx also another sort of vision scouty hero, similar to Triant, can uh, really disrupt team fights quite well too. First pick Darkseer. Ooh, um, it's interesting. Uh, Darkseer is is a, a strong laning hero, and if you combo him up with someone who goes aggro like an ogre or a tusk or a spirit breaker or a sand king or a slaughter then uh then you can put iron shell on them and and cause a lot of havoc to try lanes um that's first pick for skate masters will be interesting to see what the uh mystery second hand god respond with and they're going to respond with a crystal maiden kunker combo it's a pretty good set of supports uh cm very very good hero um Allowing to enable her team with a arcane aura and also some some good uh, utility spells and Kunker, <coughs> an incredible roamer with his X month spot plus torrent. His only issue is in the early game he uh, he really struggles for mana, and the uh, the good thing about Crystal Maiden is that she will enable him to to have more of an impact. Uh, last time, uh, I. When I watched Skate Masters earlier, they they played a they opened with Clockwork Shadow Fiend, um, and the Clockwork went off lane, and uh, it it allowed the Shadow Fiend to get off to a great start, and he he really took hold of the game and snowballed from there. Um, so I wonder if it's something maybe they'll look to employ. Eating up a fair bit of their reserve time here. They've uh, they've used a minute now. It's almost almost half of it. And well, they they indeed go for the clockwork. <coughs> Although one presumes uh, it's going to be a pos four clockwork, unlike the pos three clock clockwork they played before. Because um, Docs here almost always has played in the off lane. A disruptor ban. Disruptor. Makes sense because uh, Docs here, Disruptor is a great combo. You get Static Storm and you vacuum everyone in. Um, so you can in some way. Wouldn't want to play against that. No surprises there. Be interesting to see whether they do indeed ban Shadow Feed as well to stop that sort of synergy with Clockwork. Because it was UTP who played who played Shadow Fiend in the mid lane and uh, he he was he was rather incredible. He had 23 denies and 15 last hits in 2 minutes. Once again, using quite a bit of their reserve time. The good thing about anti-mage ban, very interesting. I don't know if they played that in one of their games, but they do <laughs> They do actually ban the Shadow Fiend. I'm not too surprised, but 
a slight respect ban and uh, the fact that it, it teams up so well with Clockwork in the other game. Um, the good thing about uh, Mystery Second Hand God is they haven't actually revealed much about their draft. They've got pretty decent team fight with Ghost Ship and uh, and Freezing Field, but nothing beyond that. They've also used no reserve time and. If they're not quick, they're going to only have 30 seconds of reserve time on Skate Masters left. But it, the only issue is they have used... Oh, that's a Jug Ban Jug. Sensible Ban lanes really well with the Crystal Maiden. And they go for a Sand King. Sand King probably going to be going into the offlane almost suddenly, considering they've he <coughs> has been played as a four a lot recently. But I presume Kunk is almost certainly going to be a pos four. So Sand King Spire Strike is an incredible stun, and Caustic Finale is also a really good, really horrible skill to lane against as a as a melee core. Jakiro. They took a they took Jakira in the game I watched earlier. Um, it was base kip. Base kip played a really solid Jakira. Uh, really added to the their push and and also was uh, nicely active around the map. So they're gonna have to take a middle carry here. I would expect. <coughs> I wonder if you uh, pick a carry, I would have thought, to save your, your mid to last pick, and they do have last pick, so. But choosing to use a, a decent amount of their, uh, their reserve time at the moment. It's only really Shadow Fiend and possibly Brissa, you, you can play Juggernaut mid. Um, so pretty much all the mids are still in the pool, so plenty of uh, plenty of options. Troll Warlord. Oh, he's certainly got a lot of recently. Um, he's occasionally being played in mid, but I think that'll most likely be a safe lane troll. And they respond with a Razor. Uh, Razor pretty good against Troll. Razor can go both safe and mid lane. Um, good thing is if you if you are able to drain all of Troll's damage, then he he doesn't really do a lot. But it's uh, it's whether Razor can a stay in close contact to do that and b uh, stay alive to get that off. Um, don't really have that many saves for him at the moment. Ember Spirit ban from Mystery Second Hand God. So it's whether this razor, so they probably don't think this razor is going mid at the moment with the fact that they banned a mid. But they got plenty of time on, on a Mystery Second Hand God. And Skate Masters only have 21 seconds of reserve time, which they are ticking into again. Storm Spirit ban. Makes sense. The amount of straight up disables that they have uh, would make life against a storm quite difficult. Be interesting what they're going to pick up here. And whether it is indeed a mid or a safe laner. I think Razor's mostly been played safe lane. Okay, they picked up Alina, so unless they're going for a mid Jakira, then it's uh, almost certainly going to be a, a mid Lina. Lina, really strong laner. Also really good with CM, so it's kind of a, a little deny pick um, in that sense too. But combination with Fiery Soul and and uh, Dragon Slave, she can really dominate lanes. And a lot of a lot of heroes really struggle with that. Although I think TA does really well against Lena and TA is still in the pool. I don't know whether they'd go for that. They got plenty of time still. Hmm. 
Queen of Pain. Interesting. I'm not actually sure how I think that mid matchup goes. I guess it's all going to be about the uh, the supports and the rotations. So, uh, I, yeah, I presume it's going to be a dual lane Jakiro Razor facing a, a Sand King. Interesting. Um, that would be really interesting to see how this uh, this Battle Cup final turns out. Find the uh, dark sea clockwork. Interesting. I've not really seen much of that, so it'll be uh, interesting to see how that pays off. I love this troll set. It's an amazing set, troll set. Brilliant use of the side buttons. Not quite at a full tower level. Disappointing. Alright then, here we go. And the immediate pause. Uh, uh, that's certainly a pro play right from the off. So, uh, Tactical pause. One presumes for the way they're not saying anything. So, uh, for us, mystery second hand god, we got Horus on the Sand King, who's immediately picked up a, an Iron Tummy. May not want to have, doesn't think he's going to have much fun in the lane. Kiora on the uh, on the Queen of Pain. Shall we dance on Kunkka? Zoo Boy on the Crystal Maiden. And I'm in a state. Um. Bit of a bit of fun coming up from UTP there, um, and for Skate Masters they have Death Pasto on Razor Base Kip on Jakiro, Riz on the Dark Seer, Love on the Clockwork, and UTP on the Lena. So TP Smoke and TPs for both teams. Clock and Kunker heading towards mid lane, and CM is going to place a deep ward in the mid lane and a deep ward on the safe lane too. That's a very, very deep ward for the clockwork. Is his his smokes. If it runs out the ward may catch him. Oh, it's gonna end and he should oh I don't know if he got spotted there by the ward. Well that's a really, really deep ward. Um, Paul Tango is nothing strange there. He's going also straight for the Iron Talon. Boots first on Clockwork should help him uh, get initiation on other people. Alright, pretty, pretty sanded stuff. <laughs> Right, so it looks like we're not going to have any smokes or movements in the early game. Try and uh, disrupt either bounty rune. It'll be interesting to see how this mid lane block pays off for both teams. Oops. I think it should come. No, it's just about even. But they've already committed three heroes to the mid lane. And he's, he's whipping out the the taunts in the mid lane already. Uh, Got to have some respect for that. Uh, Shadow Strike dropped onto him. Making their trades go slightly in favour of the quad. But as a support, you're always going to be happy trading evenly with a with a core. Um, looks like we're going to have a fairly exciting offlane too. They've got a full tri lane um, of the Crystal Maiden, the Conqueror, and the Troll against Darkseer and Clockwork. 
Interesting that he's iron shelled himself there. But let's get up the last hits and denies. And currently uh Lena's come come stomping into the lead for the uh, last hits and denies. Uh Quap's really having a tough time. Already had to use to had to commit a decent amount of regen too, considering the uh rotation for the Jakiro. Jakiro is currently stacking, I presume, is what he wants to do there. Nothing too exciting. Razors managed to successfully zone the Sand King into the jungle. I have very mixed opinions on the Sand King set, by the way. But uh, it's not a happy Sand King that's been uh, zoned all the way to the jungle. He's going to go through his regen really quick. In fact, he has gone through all of it. Small stack was made there for the Lena. And. It's currently Troll at the head of the uh, last hits and denies, but closely followed by the uh, the Lena and the Razor. So it's a, it's a good start for Skate Masters so far. But there's a smoke coming out from the diet, and it's been yeah, smoke broken by uh, by Rip, by Love. In fact, the torrent misses, and I think that's going to be the end of that gank. That's one smoke popped and one smoke wasted for Mystery Second Hand God. Looking to smoke mid and uh, gank this Lena, stop her getting even further ahead. This is not fun for the co-op. He's got some region coming out, another set of tangos, but Sanking getting absolutely nothing from the lane at the moment. Um, yeah, he's currently level 2 versus the Razor's level 4. So with this, the Razor is able to free farm and get completely solo XP, uh, while the other two supports are trying to be active on the map and helping them to win early lanes. And Quop is still really not having fun. A TP in from Clockwork will be spotted, but we'll just refill Lena's bottle for him. We eat a sentry though. No, just ran out. But a really good start for UTP on the Lena. It's got to be down to the fact that he's got an Arcana. Oh, a dive from a uh, dive from Clockwork. He's wrapped around the, with the battery assault. It's going to be enough. Lena's uh, right click finishes off the DD, helping out quite a lot there too. And uh, that's another fantastic start for UTP there. Another smoke this time. Sand King King, and she's broken that too. The X comes in. The Dragon Slave and the Light Strike already both land. In comes the Quop. The Barry Strike's good. Do they have enough damage here? Yeah, this should be enough. And Lena goes down. It's a big commitment in the end, bringing four heroes into the mid lane. But suddenly does send the Lena back. And it's going to give Quop a little bit of time to catch up on some much needed farm. And Sanking looks like he's going to almost abandon the jungle and see what he can get done in other lanes. Going in on the docks here. Frostbite comes in. They have enough to get body blocks in from Zooboy. Very nicely done. The X Torrent into the Barry Strike, and that should be enough. And that's two kills in quick succession. Well done by the uh, by Mystery Second Hand God. The issue is with the Clockwork is is quite hard to gank uh, a Quop like this with uh, having a, a blink. Um, but they did manage to get the first blood, which was which was very important. But Suddenly, those 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 rotations have changed the net worth a bit. Trolls now top of the net worth, and Quop is caught up a little bit, but still a long way behind the Lena in terms of uh, net worth and last hits. Lena is always double. Light Strike away misses. Nice blink out. Issue for the Sand King is in terms of net worth. He is he is actually only. 220 behind the docks here. So he's, he's not doing all that bad. These rotations and jungle wing has obviously paid off. Um, they've not got as much from this dual lane as I imagine they would have wanted to. 
well, it's not really a, been a dual lane, but. So you're able to get the cogs. Yeah, he gets the cogs off. And the frostbite comes in, but he's just wailing onto him. And he's going to go down. The aggressive play from, uh, from Skaven is, is the Doxy going to go down? He used Surge on the clockwork, so he's actually not got it up. He's going to go down too, with a right click, and he goes down. Double kill for the troll. He's having a great time at the moment, and they're rotating, but it should be scanned out by that ward. The lean is still on the high ground. Really still on the high ground. Uh, with the Jakira there, maybe they can take this fight. The, uh, the burn the Laguna Blade comes out, and he's going to die. The Light Strike away lands. Barry Strike comes in. And the TP rotation for the CM is actually going to cost her her life. And and that's, in fact, two kills going the way of Skate Masters. Meanwhile, Razor's farming pretty well on the bottom, but not farming as well as Trollers in the top lane. But a uh, good rotation for Skate Masters has allowed them to get a couple of kills in mid lane and, and pressure this leaner a bit more. A bit of action between Clockwork and the Kunker. It's not going to turn into anything. Pops Clarity and he'll be fine. So is uh, one of the great strengths of Jakiro. Able to just walk up to tower, hit him with Liquid Fire. Nice amount of dot and as well as uh, the attack slot helping to push in the waves. But Troll's got 60 last hits, which is uh, over 10 more than anyone else. Um, there's currently seven people around the mid lane. So uh, it's all getting a little bit exciting here. Didi in the top lane, I don't think uh, Zooboy's going to be there to deny it in time, unfortunately. So that's a, a DD in the hands of the co-ops. You can either use of the sorry U2P's Lena. Uh, you can either use that to try and push this tower down or clear out the stack. He's not yet taken this stack down here. There's a wrap around in the top lane. Looks like they're setting up to go on the docks here. He's got the X onto the docks here. In comes a torrent, gets it off. Follow up with a frostbite. Is that going to be enough? The wall goes down. It's a TP response from the clockwork. But he doesn't have a hook shot or any means of getting onto them, so it's just defensive TP. Stops the uh, stops the gank immediately. But they did draw a wall, so they uh, they get something and they force the docks here at our lane. So it's not all for nothing. But in terms of the net worth, it is nine minutes in, and Skate Masters do in fact have a 3.2k-ish lead. And uh, UTP is just going to farm up this stack. It's going to be some yummy gold for him. He's making use out of that DD. And got the tower, I believe. Done very nicely there. But the uh, the real issue here is you've got, t uh, you got UTP Lena standing at about 5k net worth. And, and meanwhile, Quop is, is sitting all the way down at... 2.7k net worth, so she's really struggling. She's a, a really rough game so far. And uh, UTP is going to be trying to get a uh, quick bloodstone, great uh, item if you can you can get it early in and start scaling. Uh, looks like they're they're moving towards bottom, but the razor's already TP top. Looks like he wants to try and make a play and pressure this top lane. This is similar to what, and uh, it's quite similar to what I saw them do before. They just they just grouped up and took down towers. Uh, I'm in a state on the trollers. Uh, just decided it's better to dodge the gank. No point trying to fight them at the moment. And he's going to try and get some uh, farm from the jungle. Uh, Horus on the Sun King also looking to uh, catch up on on what he can after he had a fairly difficult laning stage. Um, looks like he's going to go for Blink before Tranquil Boots. Uh, looks like all three, uh, Kiora and the supports are looking to try and pressure this mid tower. I imagine, and they take the top tower. No, no defense at all. 
put a bit more gold. It's now going into a 4k swing. And uh, they're not even able to get a tower either top or bottom out of it. So uh, Skate Masters have all of their towers defended. Whereas uh, they've taken all three tier 1s of the opposition. And it creates so much space for them to farm and puts so much more pressure on on a second hand uh gods to 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 try and get farm without uh, risking their lives but it's been a a slightly slower pace game there's only been seven kills and not too many rotations here uh, Troll looked like he was going to go on, on docks here for a second, but Riz just surges and runs away. No problem there, he looks like he's going to be going for an early set of Greaves. Really good for a team fighting and five manning, which may be what they're trying to do. Lena is currently 900 gold off her Bloodstone at 12 minutes, that is a, that's a really solid timing. Um, he got another stack to clear out here too. That will, that will progress her nicely towards that. That's a smoke up from the Dyer though. They are going to try and wrap around. They just missed the darks here. He thinks he's safe under the safety of his tower. Little does he know. Scan used. Goes red. They know he's there. They can see him. Oh, he doesn't know what a world of pain he's in. Quat comes in with a shadow strike. The X is there though. It's boom. Uh, <laughs> Clockwork cancels that that TP immediately. Is no point. Not going to save him there. But they may try to defend the tower. They have really good vision in this area. I mean, the the wards slightly overlap, but if they come and defend, I don't think they they want to fight really. So they will indeed back off. They'll get the they'll get the pick off on the darks here and force some rotations up to the top lane. Create some more space for the Sand King to uh, work on his his blink dagger, which he's doing quite nicely on. He's only three hundred gold away now, so that's that's all in all a pretty good blood uh, blink timing for him. Uh, once he gets his blink, he can uh, he can really start making some plays happen. Um, currently, only Jakiro really out of the supports, really struggling for levels. He's a uh, He's not quite got his level six, but he's trying to he's trying to work on that. Whereas Lena just needs one more creep camp, and then we'll have a bloodstone, and and then she'll be she'll be very happy. Especially if they once she gets bloodstone, she's able to take some fights and uh and get some more bloodstone charges, that would be perfectly ideal. And Doxy has just used the surge to get here. He doesn't realise Hookshot onto the Sand King. And the X boat lands perfectly. But with the uh, the TP from the Razor, don't think they're gonna get anything else. And they just back out. And in fact there is a kill in the mid lane. Uh the both the Jakiro and the Lena. Oh and there's more stuff going on in the bot lane and it's it's currently one for one trade, and uh, Dyer having to back out to the south. CM's trying to TP. Don't think she's gonna make it. Too much damage coming out from Death Pastor on the Razor. In fact, he has so much damage. He's stolen 152 damage, and uh, he did so much in that fight. It's a it's a real costly uh, sort of half minute for for mystery second hand gods. Um, I, it's a very interesting build he's come out from the Razor. He went for a Midas into Travels, uh, so that he can have a lot of map presence with the Travels and the Midas to, to just accelerate his farm in case, uh, the game goes late, but the way things are going, uh, I'd say Skate Masters would be pretty happy with how things go. They, they stand at a 5k net worth lead. Lena's got a bloodstone completed. 14 charges on that. And they're just slow pushing into this tier 2 tower. That's what the uh, bloodstone allows you to do if you, if you have good charges. Then she can just constantly cast spells. Keep those fiery soul stacks up. So Razor TP's in. And they're going to look to try and take this tier 2. Don't think they can do much to contest it. Sanking does have his blink dagger. 
and they ping out the ward. Uh, they've, they're pressuring the top tower, but I don't think they're actually going to get this down. Looks like they may be grouping up to smoke. No, CM doesn't have a smoke on her. They do, in fact, deward by the shrine. And Lena is heading towards an invis rune. She can uh, suddenly get a lot done with this. Uh, moving up towards the blink barry strike. And with the uh, with the battle chance and the troll, it's a fairly standard kill. No EP committed, and so we'll have epicenter for the upcoming fight. There, really want to try and get a tower, but uh, with this razor with his bots, he is uh, he is everywhere that he suddenly needs to be, and he is uh, he is right at the top of the net worth. The top three net worths all really close. Currently, top two on. On the uh, on the radiant, but uh, looks like Lena pops her sister in the in the crystal maiden, um, and uh, again TP bot sank in good blink to avoid the ice path breaks the uh, static link to should be a clean escape for him, but uh, this is a real real issue for. Mystery second hand god is they're not really able to uh to take any objectives that they're, they're kind of farming decently Quop's still really struggling at the moment um she's trying to get treads and and her uh, oblivion staffs because they're gonna go into an orchid but uh it's almost eighteen minutes and she's she's not got it completed she's uh three k behind her opposite mid laner so really having a rough time. Whereas Troll, um, Troll's having a having a fine game. He's working towards a, a Shadow Blade. Shadow Blade that will hopefully allow them to uh, get some more pickoffs and then take those pickoffs into taking some objectives or maybe sneak a Roshan. He's got Vlad Zesimoy. He's in a he's in a pretty good fighting state. Um, but no no real big team fights here so far. Uh, just uh, the occasional pickoffs. Uh, taking down four towers. But uh, nothing, nothing too major. It's just uh, skate masters been asserting their dominance more than anything. Sankey going into a four stuff. Not surprising at all. I'm grouping up a bit here. So Clockwork does have a smoke. Doxy's got his mech completed. So I'd say I'd say skate masters are in a really good position to try and fight here. They are they've got about six and a half K net worth lead and and Doxy's completed some mech. Lena's got a shadow blade. Um but they they're going in on a bot hookshot just misses Smoke to try and catch up. Uh he's got the oh he's got the blade mail completed, but they're gonna make it to the shrine. Trolls just TPing away, so I don't think they can fight anymore. They're gonna have to back out. See if they can try and get some catch, but they don't really have much without the, although the ice path into the Laguna Blade, oh, and the Rocket Flare finishes off the kill, and I think this is going to be another tier two. Something that they did really well in the game I watched before, and they're doing very well again. They they take pickoffs and they take objectives. Uh, Razor finished his blade mail, and he's gonna he's gonna be going into. A Heaven's Halberd, which uh, is a really strong item at the moment with the recent change that it's... I'm not sure if it's completely undispellable, but suddenly if you put it on first and then uh, and then cast BKB, you are still disarmed, which is, is not really ideal if you're playing someone like Troll. Troll's not too far away from his own Shadow Blade should he choose to buy out. Razor catches the CM. Unfortunately, when you turn around to cast your purge from the CM, you get hit by unstable current. Although she is actually, she could make it out with his TP completes, but no, it's too quick. Spots her in the trees and whips her. I'm not going to continue with that analogy anymore. Sanking though, making decent progress on his forced off. Um, and clockwork once again they 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 defend their objectives really well and, and that's why they've not lost a single one. 
Whereas the other, uh, the other two are just happily pushing into this mid lane, and no one's really close enough to defend this. With the Lina and the Jakiro, they really, really do push this quickly, and unless they're quick, uh, they bring out the Fortify. But unless they're really quick, they are, they are gonna take this down. They do respond in the end, and they will protect the tower. Scan does ping out UTP. Shall we Don's going to be looking for the X. Has he got the sight? No, night vision. Just not good enough. Doesn't catch him. Uh, thought he'd gone invis with the Shadow Blade, but that wasn't to be the case. Jakira should be fine. But uh, this lead, as you can see in a sec, it's, it's other than one minor blip around the sort of 15 minute mark. Uh, it's been pretty clean sailing and I'm not totally sure what uh, what mystery second hand god have got to do to they got to try and take some pick offs and some objectives and I mean maybe a team fight um, they need to find something to to try and reverse this the orchid is complete on the uh, queen of pain she's going to be working towards a BKB but the uh, the Lena is also moving towards a PKB, so if they're quick and they're able to hit the uh, the Lena with an orchid, are they grouping for a smoke? They are. This could be this could be good. There's no there's no sight around to see it. Troll's got his shadow blade completed, so that's what they're going to try and initiate with. Lena's TPing to the bottom. There's only two here in the area. Darks here and Clockwork aren't too far off. His smoke's going to break in a second. He has broken. There's an Invis Lena which he doesn't see. His uh, shadow blade's gone. They're going to counter smoke, but it's immediately broken. Shall we dance? Gonna be he's gonna go for the TP, he's surely not gonna get away with it. They unleash everything onto him, and that smoke is going to backfire in the end. Do they smoke again? Looks like they maybe smoked to get away. They're gonna see his shadow blade there. And uh it's unfortunately not worked out for Mystery Second Hand God. They they kinda needed that to work. You know, gets a uh, level fifteen talent, the cooldown reduction. And once again, they uh, they see Troll pushing in the mid, and immediately someone's here to defend. Although, no, she's popped her, popped her Shadow Blade, she knows Troll's about... She's gonna move it into Rush. I uh, thought maybe Troll was rushing, and uh, pings out where Troll's farming. Possibly looking at getting a, a pick-off, but they don't really have anything for him. The only issue is that, that most of their catch is quite high cooldown at the moment, which means if if uh, Mystery Second Hand God are able to get a successful disengage, they can't really stop them if if uh, Hookshot's already expended. But they are going to move into the Rishon Pit, and by the looks of things, they don't have any smokes, so they don't really have anything they can look to take this Lena TPs to the bot lane to defend. There are three heroes in the vicinity. But I'm not sure if they're going to get anything done. They end up abandoning Roshan. Death Pasto working towards his Ag so that he can uh, offer even more push on top of what they've already got. And are they going to get... Nope, they've moved back into Rosh, but they've done it under the sight of a ward this time. And they're just going to let them have it. They're going to accept that they can't get anything and they're going to trade out the tier 1 bot for the Roche timer. And I imagine they will put this on Death Pasto. And no, it's gone on the leader. Uh, it's nothing too surprising. She's uh, she's pretty strong at the moment. But they're going to continue going towards this tier 2. And he's going to TP into the shrine, Shadow Blades up. If she lands this, she might be able to immediately kill him and bam! Down goes the quap and suddenly everyone's got to get out of get out of dodge. Sanking T is away and every, everyone's out. But uh, very very quick pick off from UTP. He uh, he completely exploded that quap. Didn't even need to use a dragon slave. And with this Aegis, uh, they may try and look towards high ground. It, it may be a push a little too far. Um, Clockwork and Razor looking at the, the top lane, seeing seems to be no one there that's revealed by the... There's a troll next to them. 
Can they get this kill? She has Aegis. She's used her... He doesn't have any sight, though. And Kunga, who's coming in. Oh. There's actually... Oh! And the, the Lacuna Blade and the Dragon Slave is going to explode him. And in comes the hook shot, only onto his teammate. Sanking Bow strikes in and Sandstorm's away. The dust does catch him, but he's already blinked away. So, uh... They get the Kunkka, but the Jakiro and the Darkseer are just pushing high ground. And Trolls, Trolls here again. Lena is TPing in. Oh, he's got to be careful, though. Oh, just now. Oh, but the vacuum catches him. Uh, they don't have a uh, Laguna Blade, having already expended it onto the Kunkka. But what she does have is an Aegis, and they may use that to to go for something here. Oh, bow strike onto the Lena. And the torrent catches her, but they don't really have any more bursts than that. It's got to be earned up. Well, they, the good thing is they do have all of their ults. Maybe if they can connect with a good epicenter bow strike into a sonic wave in a freezing field with a ship, then uh, they can really get this going. Good stun on the Razor. He's been orchided up, and the boat's coming down. Catches just him, but the the CM's exploded, and his epicenter, he didn't have Bari Strike, he couldn't he couldn't go in. And the trolls disarmed, he's gonna immediately disengage, and they're just gonna they're gonna wail onto the racks. And without the CM, they've still got Sonic Wave. They don't have any more alts to defend this. All they can do is try and torrent them to slow them down. And with his eggs completed, they are they are they take these racks with no problem whatsoever. And they're probably going to back out and take shrines now. Yeah, and after after taking those racks, it's a a, a huge eighteen k lead now. It's uh things are not looking good for Mystery Second Hand God. As a good four staff, I presume that was a four staff away. The sanking really nice four staff should allow them to get this Jakiri kill and maybe quell this push for a bit. Really, really nice play from the uh, Horus there. Jakiru was just looking uphill to try and liquidify the tower, and he four staffs him up to the high ground, and and he's immediately punished. Really, really nice, quick thinking there from Horus, and and uh, they immediately disengage. That's going to allow them to have some farming time and a little bit of uh, of uh, some some time where they're they're not going to be pressured by by skate masters. Uh, how long do they have on this Aegis? It was at 25 minutes, so they got about they got just over a minute left on this Aegis. Maybe enough time to try and factor in another high ground push. They've taken both shrines though, and um, unless they group up soon, I don't think they will. Shadow Blade in from UTP, looking to try and catch. He doesn't have any sight for the troll, but he could get. Although he doesn't need sight. Oh, that's a fantastic hook shot into the Light Strike Array. Laguna Blade and Trolls down. He has no buyback. He's gone for 60 seconds. And I mean, you don't need your Aegis if you take out their carry like that. That was a fantastic hook shot in from Love. And the, the boat comes in and Kunker and the Quap goes down. This is going to be 5v2. Five, five and they call GG. That's They're done. They they they've had enough and Death Pasto drops all of his items and that is that is GG. Skate Masters take the tier eight Southeast Asia Battle Cup win and uh they they looked really strong from the start and they they didn't really let up at all. Um as as we can see if you take a look at the net worth graph then uh it was they were never really behind at all and they certainly UTP had a fantastic game in the mid lane and and Sanking wasn't able to lane bot so uh the the uh, the Razor just had a completely free lane to farm and and the the advantage just became a bit too much that uh that Mystery Second Hand God didn't really uh didn't feel comfortable fighting. Yeah. Um the fact that they had uh, they had a they had a heaven's halberd on the on the clockwork and no BKB on the troll meant that uh, he couldn't really do much. Um, but 
Yeah, congratulations to, to Skate Masters for their Tier 8 Battle Cup win. Um, fully deserved it in the, in the two games I, I watched. They, uh, they looked really, really solid. Uh, controlled the game from the start to the finish and took took two quick wins. Um, I've been Gasper, and this has been a, a replay cast, and hopefully I will see you again soon.